Hey guys, how's it going? So today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make sake steamed clams. This recipe was taught to me over 10 years ago by a Japanese chef. And when it comes to picking the sake, you don't have to use anything expensive. In fact, I used a $8 bottle of sake. For $8, you get a lot and it lasts a long time. I've had this bottle for well over a year and I still have a lot of sake left over for, for cooking. Next, I wanna teach you how to clean the clams because you don't want to eat the clams when there is sand in them because you know you get that really gritty and crunchy texture which you shouldn't get when eating clams and i'm also going to teach you how to prepare the scallions in a certain way all right so let's get started to make this dish you will need one pound of manila clams as for the cooking broth you will need half a cup of water half cup of sake three tablespoons of mirin and then you also need four to five shredded scallions for garnishing and flavor enhancing. The one teaspoon of salt and water will be used to clean the clams. So this process of cleaning is usually what I do every time I cook clams. I would dump the clams into a large bowl. I use a large mixing bowl and then I will completely submerge the clams in water. And while the clams are being submerged, I will clean each one with a bristle brush just to dislodge any loose bits of dirt that's pretty much still stuck on the clam and once that's done I will use another mixing bowl add the teaspoon of salt and then add the clams into the bowl and then I will completely submerge the clams in water and then once the clams are completely submerged I will move the clams around just to help the salt distribute throughout the water and once that's done, I let the clam sit in the salt water solution for about three hours. All right, so while the clams are soaking, you can actually start shredding the scallions. And I'm gonna show you two methods on how to do this. All right, so in preparation for the shredding, cut the scallions into two to two and a half inch segments, and then we'll get started with the first method. The first shredding method is very easy. Just place a piece of the scallion on the cutting board and then hold down one end with your with your hands and with a paring knife start digging it in and then pull the blade towards the opposite end and this will start to shred the scallions. Just make sure you have a sharp paring knife and do watch those fingers. I don't want you getting cut or getting nicked uh, with the blade during this process. Once everything is shredded for that piece, just cut off the end and then start on the other pieces. Now, that end piece that was just cut off, don't waste it, save it for another time. And then just repeat it for all the other pieces. Um, this is a pretty easy way to, to, shred, to shred the scallions uh, without wasting too much time. The other method on how to shred scallions is to hold it with your hand and then invert the paring knife and then start digging that blade towards the bottom and then pull it towards the top. So cutting wise, it's just very similar. It's just a different method. Uh, I prefer this method um, only because I kind of grew up shredding scallions this way and I just feel like I get better control and I can get finer shreds doing it this way. It doesn't matter if you use method one, it doesn't matter if you use method two, it's all going to be the same at the very end. So um, just do whatever you think uh, works for you. The next step is to make the broth, but don't start this step until you're ready to cook the clams. So when you're ready, pour in the sake, water, and mirin into a measuring cup or into a single container. The next step is to combine the ingredients. So place the clams into the dish that you're going to use to steam the clams in. Evenly distribute the clams and then pour in the broth that you just made all over the clams. Once the step is complete, layer all the scallions that you shredded on top of the clams.
Now the clams are ready to be cooked. Place the clams into the steamer and steam for six to seven minutes. Usually it won't take longer than that, but if your clams are larger, it will take longer. And you'll know the clams are, are done when the shells pop open. Now for the clams that don't have open shells, don't eat those, discard them. And then really, this dish is ready to be consumed. You can eat the dish as is, you can use the same dish that the clams were cooked in or you can remove the clams and place them onto another dish for better presentation. Just be sure to eat the clams when they're still hot. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. And if you're into Asian cooking, want to learn more about Asian cooking, subscribe, drop a like, and I will see you next video.